What's up guys, Jay here and I have another Blu-ray review for you this week. Ghost in the Shell. Big ol' ScarJo uh, name casting on the top there, like huge, like it's just as big as the Ghost in the Shell itself. Uh, the uh, whole whitewashing controversy was a big deal. And, I mean, for good reason. They, they could have easily just cast a... Um, you know, a Asian actress, and I don't know if the movie would have done any better or worse. I mean, I didn't go see this in the theater, so, <clears throat> and I don't know the box office or anything, but I don't, I mean, I think it did all right, but, uh, but, you know, it's one of them things. They could have cast an Asian actress. Anyways, I'm getting off on the subject. Now, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the cover again, the full cover. Um, I would like it. It's very, it's shiny, the background. I don't know who these two dudes are on the front. I haven't even seen the anime show for this, uh, or the the movie. Sorry, um, I tr I watched some of it one day and then I got busy and I had I left and I didn't finish the whole movie. But this really has a lot of detail on the 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 front of it. You get this Aeon Flux bonus with this. This isn't even a special version. This is just like the standard version. But on the sides down here. You can see, like, uh, there's, like, a building. There's, like, a shark thing right here on this side. Like a shark or something. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of detail on this. Um, so the back is shiny as well. Uh, and it just shows you the instant watch code. Mind-blowing, like, nothing you've ever... You've never seen anything like it. Sure, I haven't seen anything like it, because I've never seen it. Uh, all right, well, let's take this out. So... Yeah, the uh, the the uh, actual plastic cover is the same cover art. It's nice though. It's really colorful. I do like the colorfulness. Let's check out the discs. This is uh, whoa, the back of it. Look at this. A big old Aeon Flux. Only on Voodoo though. They're just dying to give them them uh, Aeon Flux things away. Just watch our movie, please. It's good. Uh. Is that Charlize Theron who plays in Aeon Flux? Or, I think it is. I've never seen Aeon Flux either. Really lacking on my watching of these uh, anime adaptations. But that's pretty cool. Here you go. You can have, I don't really care to see Aeon Flux. And if I do, I'll just, I mean, I'll find it somewhere. There's Aeon Flux code if you want that. Only on Voodoo. <clears throat> uh... Let's just open this up, and we get no disc art. Oh, that's the code right there for the movie digital download, which I'll give away here in a bit. Uh, so here's the inside. The Blu-ray is blue, and the DVD is just silver. So, yeah. Blue. The uh, I like they have this little triangle. This is the Illuminati triangle on the on the disc here. Let's show you. Right there, that little triangle. It's pretty cool. Uh, is that on the actual thing? It is on the... It's on the cover, too. I wonder if that a triangle has a significance in the show. I'll have to watch and, I'll, and find out. By the way, I won't be doing a review in this episode. Just uh, the unboxing here and the, the Blu-ray review and the uh, title screen and interface review. Uh, so that's really it for this. Nothing too special, too flashy. I didn't get any special editions or anything. I don't know if there were any. Um, but this is just the one that I found at the store. So I in, just, I'm just i not going to go search out special ones. Just whatever I find there at the store It's the one I'm going to get. And Because this is the, the basic consumer in my area it will find this one. And that's what I'm doing is like basic consumer reviews. Not like these super special edition things, and unless I somehow get a hold of those, like sent to me or something like that, I won't. I won't do any reviews of anything super duper special. Just what I can find at my local store. All right, so here comes the review of the interface, and I'll show you all about all that, and we'll have a good old time, and you'll see that now. Here is the opening screen for the menu, and I gotta say, pretty interesting actually. Um, not as lazy as. The last Paramount um, review, which was the Furious, or no, not Furious, it's Fast, Fate of the Furious. Um, this one's a lot better, a lot cooler. And you should expect something more like this, because this movie is all about visuals and, 
you know, kind of the spectacle of, of that. And this reflects it well enough. Um, let's check out the, uh, the settings, the scenes, and extras. Let's go to extras first. So it just kind of pops up there, and you can scroll through these three options. Hardwired, Humanity, Making Ghosts in the Shell. Sector 9 Cyber Defenders, Man and Machine, the Ghost Philosophy. So those are some interesting uh, things. So let's just go all the way down. We'll go to Scenes, and they just pop up. Easy to go, easy easy to navigate through. Settings. They do have Dolby Atmos, which is awesome. Uh, I really enjoy the Dolby Atmos. I This is the first I'm seeing recently of them doing... Dolby Atmos, so I'm really excited to see that because it sounds awesome for all the movies I've watched so far. Okay, so we'll just go all the way down. Wait, what else settings was on there? French, Portuguese, Spanish, and English audio description. Subtitles, so there's a lot of subtitles. This guess this is like a kind of a very foreign uh, movie. I mean, it appeals to a wide spectrum. And then obviously we just have the play. I do like the music they have playing in the background. Uh, Overall, very good. I like the aesthetic, uh, and only only missing disc art because if they would have had disc art, um, it would have looked. It just would have been so much cooler. But they're just blue and that silver, and just kind of disappointing there. But this screen, this menu, I really do like, and it just starts over there. Okay, come back, guys, and here is the code for the movie. So take that. And watch for yourselves and thank you for watching this video you heard all my thoughts the uh, discard is the only thing lacking I do enjoy discard I don't know why I don't think I mean it take it take more money to print something out on it to make it look better but I think it's so worth it because it's so much cooler that way but uh, that's my only really negative the uh, the art the blu-ray cover everything else uh, the presentation of the menu, all good, all good, all above above average. So I really do like that discard. It's the only thing I'm a stickler for that discard. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment, let me know what you think of this movie and the review, and then subscribe so you don't miss the next one and you don't miss out on a chance just to get a, a freaking code, man. Why would you not subscribe just for that? So that's it. I'll see you next time.